Hey guys, it's Media Bottle Chris Tomer. Let's do a quick afternoon update and look at some of the uh, the new trends. Let me show you the new uh, jet stream pattern here for 1.8. Still very strong west east, like a conveyor belt. Uh, but you can see uh, some little pockets or troughs there, or dips, where we would have some low pressure systems. The issue I'm seeing though, and I mentioned it the sat yesterday afternoon and again this morning, that while we're going to continue to see storm systems with a lot of moisture hit the west coast, they actually weaken as they move into the interior and become more ragged. So the numbers for the second period beyond like uh, one, two, one, three, beyond that have gone down for the Wasatch. And I actually took the numbers down in Colorado as well a little bit. So I'll show you those the new numbers coming up, but it's still a powerful jet west east and the west coast is still gonna get nailed. It's just that the storm systems look like they're weakening a little bit after they come out of California and move into Utah. Um, I wanted to mention this, so I, there's my blog post from this morning, snow forecast through 1.8, christomer.com. Um, there's my video from this morning, the pattern, there's the jet from this morning. Um, there's a lot of interesting things on there, but there's the forecast timing. I've got an updated um, future radar, forecast radar and satellite here for you. So this is, uh, this is new, here we go. Um, so here's Saturday at 6 in the morning. There's Sunday at 6, and this is a big low pressure moving into the interior. Look at that on Monday, and then it moves out. And then everything that moves in, well, it hits California pretty good. There it is. Everything is, it stays, it stays consolidated on the West Coast, but after it begins to make that move into the interior, it just kind of falls apart. There is still moisture, but it's just not, it, it's not as consolidated when it hits Utah and Colorado. So let me show you the numbers. And first of all, those are my numbers from the mo this morning. If you want to check those out, I had some commentary. I also looked at my grand totals uh, from this morning and a forecast snow timeline for the Wasatch. So give that a look. Here are my numbers. So this is 12, the rest of today through 1-1. Um, so looking at it, potentially another 28 inches in the Wasatch, another eight or nine in Jackson Hole and over to Grand Targhee. Numbers in Colorado should do should should be really good um, between now and 1-1. It's a sizable storm system with a lot of moisture coming through, and it's going to hit the western slope of Colorado and the southwest mountains pretty hard. Um, you can see the numbers, potentially as much as 20 inches in Crested Butte to Purgatory, um, over a foot in Silverton and Red Mountain. Aspen Snowmass will do well as well, and so will Steamboat and Buffalo Pass. Um, so that's period one. Here's the second period, new numbers, 1-2 through 1-8. California does well. Washington State, Oregon, Idaho all do well. Um, in Utah, looking at about a foot to 13 inches, and that's very much in line with what I was thinking this morning in that the second period would be weaker. So you have a nice chunk of moisture coming in, 12-30 to 1-1, but then after that, the moisture just kind of trickles in. There just isn't a big dump all at once. In Colorado, I took the numbers down a little bit as well, anywhere from another, I don't know, 6 to 14 inches during that period. Um, in Jackson Hole and the Tetons up there, you're looking at roughly another foot and very good up in the Pacific Northwest and in Idaho during that second period. I've got a couple of uh, zoom maps here to show you as well. Now, this is a grand total map all of today through the 8th for the Wasatch, so potentially another 40 total up around Alta, Snowbird, Brighton, Solitude, and uh, middle 30s as far as new snow up there, 34, 35 inches, Park City Canyons, Deer Valley. Again, that's a total map through 1-8. Uh, here's another total map, and this is the central to northern mountain corridor of Colorado, uh, potentially another uh, two to three feet up around Steamboat and Buffalo Pass. Those have been some of my bullseyes for Colorado, along with Aspen Snowmass, Crested Butte, and the San Juan Mountains. Maybe another foot, uh, foot and a half through the Front Range High Peaks in Summit County. You'll do better if you go Vail West. You can see Vail potentially could reach that two foot mark um, through the 8th. So that'll do it for this afternoon update, guys. I uh, hope you're having a good time and a good New Year's uh, Eve coming up and a New Year's Day. Just be safe out there, and I'll do another update tomorrow.